In this section, we'll learn how to customize your basic plots further. So let's set up a basic plot, keeping with the pets table. Let's look at the relationship between age and score for each pet type. And let's have a look at that with the GM smooth. We'll set our method equal to LM and type in the formula just so it doesn't give us that um, default warning message every time. All right, so this plot looks pretty good, but what if we want to change the x-axis, the y-axis label, or the legend label? The easiest way to do this is with the labs function, and you can just set x equals age of pet, y equals test score. We'll set the color equals type of pet, and let's set a title for our, our plot pet score by age. You run all this, you can see now that these titles have shown up. You can also customize the colors of your plot. So you can add another function. It's called scale color manual. Okay, so we can see up here in the tooltips, we can set the color values and breaks. Let's try setting the values equal to three new colors. Now in R, you can um, specify colors by name if you're using simple colors. So let's say we wanted to use orange, pink, and my favorite blue, Dodger blue. So we create a vector with those three color names and set that equal to the values for scale color manual. And now we've got different colors. I don't really like that pink. If you know anything about hexadecimal colors, um, the first two characters go between 00, zero and FF. Um, so for red and then green, then blue. So this gives us full red, um, a bit less green, a bit less blue. That's very light pink. We can make the whole thing a bit darker. That's darker red. Um, and you can adjust colors that way and look them up. You can also look up the colors in R with the colors function. It gives you a list of all the colors there are. There's a lot of colors. They've got a number of ridiculous names. Every shade of gray that you could possibly find. So let's say we want a kind of maybe medium orchid three instead. And see what that looks like. Oh, that's all right. We can also change the names here. So maybe dog, cat, and ferret are absolutely fine as labels, but maybe we wanted to, to change that. I think. Let's double check this a quick. Is it name? Nope. Label? Yes, label's how we change it. So we can change that if we wanted to give it, say, uppercase letter. Dogs, cats, ferrets. So we can change both the value and the label for our color scales here. Another thing that you can do to, ch to customize your plots is to add a theme. Let's get rid of colors here. 
we just add this again on to the end. So ggplot comes with a number of custom themes. If you just start typing theme, the tooltips will bring up all the options. So we have the black and white theme, classic, dark. Let's see what the dark theme looks like. So we've just added the dark theme. That's not great. Let's try the black and white theme. That looks all right. There's a minimal theme. And you can see the um, arguments. The first argument is base size equals 11. That's the um, controls the overall size of things in your plot. So if you want to make everything a little bit bigger, we can set the base size to a bigger number, let's say 15. And here we've got a quite minimal plot with not a lot of background and bigger text. You can also set the font types, say to make a figure compatible with a journal's requirements. You can use base family to set the font family that you want. Let's try Arial times times New Roman is a common one. You can also do even more complicated things with themes. So you can set a base theme, the minimal theme, and you can even add on to that um, a blank theme where you can adjust individual things. First let's figure out how do we find out where are the options to theme. If we look up theme in the help window, just question mark theme here, you get a whole list of all of the things that you can modify in the theme. So all of the lines, all of the rectangle, rectangular shapes like the entire background or each panel of a facet, all the text, all the titles, but then also specific things like axis line X. If you want the X axis to be a specific color, we could type axis line X equals. And then we can look in the help menu. And here where it says axis line X, these are specified with element underscore line. So we use the element underscore line function to set it in a, as a specific type. So let's set the color of the x-axis to red. Now these can get relatively complicated but you can do really powerful things to create custom themes for your visualizations. So one thing we could do instead of adding just this theme to the end of this plot we could define it up at the top here. My theme, so we give it a red x-axis, let's give it a blue y-axis, who knows why. And what's another thing that we could do? Legend position. We could set the legend position always to be at the top instead of the default to the right. Okay. Now that we've defined your theme, you can add your theme to the end of any plot. So we've added my theme to this ggplot. And see we have red x, red x axis, blue y axis, our legend at the top. Alternatively, you could also at the top of your um, our markdown file, you could set theme theme underscore set is the function to my theme. Once you've set that, you don't need to add it to the end of plots. Everything else in in your script will use that theme.